Okay, welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's math channel, and this is now question number one from the January 2016 International A Level Mechanics M1 paper. I've been requested to answer this question, so I'm going to do so. It says a truck of mass 2,400 kilograms is pulling a trailer of mass m kilograms along a straight horizontal road. The tow bar connecting the truck to the trailer is horizontal and parallel to the direction of motion. The tow bar is modeled as being light and inextensible. The resistance forces acting on the truck and the trailer are constant and of magnitude 400 newtons and 200 newtons respectively. That means 400 for the trailer and 200 for the sorry 400 for the truck and 200 for the trailer. Uh, the acceleration of the truck is 0 0.5 meters per second squared and the tension in the tow bar is 600 newtons. Find the magnitude of the driving force of the truck. So let's make a little diagram just to illustrate what's going on. So you've got like a truck, let's say the truck is here, and you've got a trailer, let's say the trailer is here. I'm just representing them by these blocks. And you have a tow bar which connects the two. So you have a tow bar connecting the two. All right. Now the mass of the truck is 2,400 kilograms and the mass of the trailer is m kilograms. Um, it says, well, it's being pulled. There's a driving force which we have to find. Let me just put that in a different color so that's um, a bit clearer. Okay, so you've got a driving force here. And then you have resistance to motion on the truck and the trailer. Okay, so the driving force, let's call that D. We don't know what it is. The resistance to motion on the truck is 400 newtons. And on the trailer, it's 200 newtons. There's a tension in the tow bar of magnitude 600 newtons. And it's accelerating. Let's say it's going this way. The drive is being pulled by the truck. So that's 0 0.5 meters per second squared. Okay, so now we've got to find the magnitude of the driving force. So I've put all the information here from the question. So the magnitude of the driving force. Now what I can do here is I can take the situation as a whole or I can take each part separately. Now, in this particular case, I can't take the situa situation as a whole. I can't take this as one whole big mass. And, you know, I've got the total resistance as 600 newtons. I've got the total driving force, which you have to find. I know the acceleration. But the problem is I don't have the total mass. I have the mass of the trailer and the mass of the truck. But the mass of the trailer, I don't know what it is. So therefore, I can't use these two unknowns here for me to use in this particular situation. I don't know the mass of the trailer and I don't know the driving force. I have to find the driving force. So taking this, situ this, this whole situation as one big uh, you know, particle because they're moving in the same straight line connected by light in extensible string, I, I could do that. If I knew the mass of this, then I could find the driving force by saying that you know, the driving force minus the total resistance, which is 600, is equal to the total mass, which would be this plus that, plus 2,400 times acceleration, which is 0 0.5. But you see, I don't know this, I don't know that. And therefore, I can't find the driving force using this. So what I can do also in these type of questions is you can take a part of the system on its own. So I'm going to just concentrate on this part of the system. I can isolate that part of the system because they're both moving with the same acceleration in the same straight line, and they're both, uh, you know, basically they're connected by a light in extensible string. So the acceleration here is the same as the acceleration here. Okay, so they both have the same acceleration. So this is the same acceleration of the whole system as well. So what I can do here is I can just focus on this, and I can resolve the forces. I'll do it in the direction of motion, which I've drawn in this direction here. So I can say that um, you're using the resultant force equals a mass times acceleration. Well, the resultant force here is D minus 600 minus 400. And that's equal to the mass of this tr uh, truck, which is 2,400 times the acceleration, which is 0 0.5 meters per second squared. So that's the resultant force as F equals MA. So the resultant force is forces acting in the direction of the acceleration minus the forces acting opposite to the direction of the acceleration. 
and that's equal to the mass of the object times its acceleration. So you have d minus 1000 equals 1200. So d is equal to 2200 newtons. So there's the answer to part A of this question. The magnitude of the driving force of the truck. Okay, now for part B, it says find the value of m. Okay, so now, just as we could, you know, focus on this section here, I can also focus on this section on its own. Okay, so for finding the value of m, I can just focus on this section on its own here. So what I can do here is I can consider m, okay, consider the trailer, consider the trailer alone. Okay, so before what I did was, let me just neaten that up a bit, sort of handwriting here. Move this thing out of the way, one second. Okay, now, so if I consider just the trailer, so consider the trailer alone. So the trailer alone. Okay, what we did here is we considered, we consider what we did was the truck alone. That's what we did in part one, okay, part eight. That's when we looked at this alone. Now I'm looking at this alone, okay? So consider the trailer alone. What we can do is we can see that F equals MA. So again, I'm going to resolve the forces, but on the trailer. On the trailer, what force is acting? Um, you've got the forces in the direction of the acceleration, which is 600, minus the ones against acceleration, which is 200. F equals MA, so that's the resultant force acting. And that's equal to the mass times the acceleration, Remember, the whole of this thing is accelerating with this acceleration of 0 0.5 meters per second squared. So it's m times 0 0.5. So this gives you 400 equals m times 0 0.5. If you divide by a half, it's like multiplying by 2. So you can say, therefore, the mass is 800 kilograms. 400 divided by a half, which is 400 times 2. And that's part to be done. Very simple question here. Part C, explain how you have used the fact that the tow bar is inextensible in your calculations. Well, we have basically assumed that the, both the trailer and the truck uh, have the same acceleration. If the truck is accelerating at 0 0.5 meters per second squared and is connected to the trailer going in the same straight line and that uh, is connected by an inextensible uh, tow bar, therefore, it, they will both have the same acceleration. Okay, so we can say that the trailer has the same acceleration as the truck, something like that. Truck and trailer have the same acceleration. Okay, so there we have the answer for this question, number one of January 2016. I hope that was clear. Other questions from this paper that I've answered, you can find in the playlist that should appear somewhere in this area. Um, other questions about this topic, which is to do with, I guess, uh, dynamics and connected particles can be found in this um, playlist that should appear in this section over here. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link that should appear. And in the description, you should find other um, you know, links to other papers I've answered from M1, P1, P2, P3, P4, and also some IG papers. Um, some of these older papers, I haven't answered the whole paper yet, um, and I do them mainly by request. So if you do uh, wish for me to answer a question and you find it in my playlist, it's not complete, you can send me a request and I will do so. Okay, right now I'm just focusing mainly on the newer papers and doing them as complete papers. But uh, for the older papers, if you do have a problem and you need me to answer something, I have no issue. I will answer them as soon as I can. If you just send me a request on the channel, as I did for this question. Thank you for watching and see you soon.